<laughs> Y'all will never believe this. So Marcy was just going to take the kids. They were going to go into the playground or something while I'm working. Well, I come out here to turn the car on, and the AC starts making a funky noise. I'll show you. So I was like, well, what the heck? So I take it, I take it apart. I take out the air filter. The air filter's ready to be replaced. But there was like a bunch of insulation in it. And I was like, well, what the heck is this about? It looks like a mouse has been in there. Well, I took off the filter and I put the camera down there. And this is what I found. sure is a mouse i have no idea how it got in there i have no idea where it came from where it's going the only thing i can think is the ac door the mixer door between outside air and inside air has been stripped it doesn't work anymore so i'm guessing it must have climbed in through the air intake and gotten into there and then when i just turned that on the mouse was in there and we decapitated it or something so how do you get it out well we're gonna need some tools. This okay. is an adventure, y'all. Oh my gosh. That's so gross. And it would have had to. What, it happened, it happened to, today. It happened today because I got home at 11 with the kids and it was working fine. So between 11 and 2. Yeah. A mouse climbed in there, made its nest. Started making a nest. Ugh. This is the most unbelievable thing I've ever found working on a car. I am just glad we found it today and not in. Even in a day. I mean, it's 100 degrees outside. Well, okay, it's not 100. It's, no, it's 90. 93. It's 93 degrees that, outside. In the metal of your car. like. Well, yeah, the inside of the car would easily get up over 100 the next couple of days. And we would have been like, why does it stink in here? Oh, my gosh. Okay, if you'll drive over to the side in the shade over there so I can work in the shade, we're going to have to fix this right now instead of me working on what I'm supposed to be working on. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is bonkers y'all absolutely bonkers have any of y'all ever experienced anything like this i am glad it didn't chew on the wiring fingers crossed it didn't chew on the wiring i just wonder why it was in there i mean it's it's hot it's spring but a lot of y'all would call this summer because of how hot it actually is here i am just blown away <laughs> that we found this like this oh my gosh Got my tools. Here we go. Yo, you cannot make this kind of stuff up. I, I, I can't. What in the world? What in the world? How does something like this even happen? So I don't really know how to take this apart. We're just going to start and uh, figure it out as we go. I, I just, I don't even know how something like this happens. <laughs> the wind and the shade isn't too bad though. Maybe we'll figure out what our other issue is with the... I know, we were just talking about it yesterday. Yeah. So the air mixer door, there's a door that like will open or close. If you have outside air, it will open and let the outside air in. If, it's, uh, if you don't want outside air, it will close. Ours doesn't open or, or close. Um, at least I don't think it does. And I think, honestly, that's how the mouse got in here. Um, so maybe we'll be able to figure out fairly easily... What the problem is with that as well. I think the gears are probably stripped on it. What? Marcy says, I guess that's what happened when you have 250,000 miles in a car. What? That mice can get in? <laughs> oh, that the AC stops working? Yeah. The AC works. It just 
it's always recirculate. Actually, I think it's probably always, it's always outside. It's not actually, it's never recirculating, I think is what our issue is. Okay. I think you're right, because even if you like turn the AC off and you drive past something stinky, it, it, it still comes up. up. Yeah, okay. So there's that, we'll disconnect this light. There we go. The mouse wasn't in here this morning. Okay. The car the now the fan should, I think I can drop it out of the bottom here. One. I was just telling Crandall, I said, have I told you lately that I think you're talented? And he said, no. And I said, have I told you lately that I'm so glad I married you? I don't know what, I mean, I can't imagine how lucky we got. Ah, you got a bug on your back and I was trying to push it away, but. I can't imagine how lucky we got that it hadn't died for a long time. I've been stuck in there. Yeah. Or ran out on your toes when we were driving. <gasps> that would have been fun. <sighs> Randall, that is a horrible thought. <laughs> hey, it could have <sighs> easily happened. Nuh uh could it have really? Yeah. I mean, what are the odds of a mouse climbing into our AC fan? And getting chopped up to pieces. I'm just saying it could have gone. Do you think there's up. more? Do you think it had babies? No. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. no. I just cleaned the car yesterday. I really did. You've like been everything. all your kids' snacks that they've been dropping. Oh yeah, probably. It could have just been living in the back and I sucked up its home. <laughs> You boys were messy. Okay, here we go. This is easy enough. Okay. I don't want to see it, but we'll let the camera see it. Viewer discretion advised. May contain dead brains of a mouse. Sure enough. Ooh. Ooh. You know what was making the rattling noise? It's head. His foot. Is it alive? No, it's not alive. Yeah, that's uh, very, 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 very unexpected. I'm disgusted. The whole situation with this is unbelievable. Like, it really is unbelievable. I don't know how... We've stumped Crandall. You've stumped me because we don't have any tall grass or anything. It, I was parked in the mud. In the I mud. If you went, you could see the little mice print. Maybe. I'm going to go check. But it just, I mean, maybe you picked it up at a store or something like that, you know, from a parking lot. But I don't, I, yeah, it stumps. The whole situation is stumping me. So what me. you're saying is it could have been in the car when I was driving it earlier. But when I parked. No, I really don't think so. I really think it showed up just. Reese in the last little bit. He says we don't have any tall grass. I wonder if geese chased it up there. That's the second mouse we found this spring in the front yard. Because remember, goose ate the one. Oh, yeah, there was one. Yeah, you're right. Goose ate one the other day off our front porch. I know. We're going to get all these people. I'm going to call them Karens because they all encourage me to get a cat. And that's such a Karen thing to do. <laughs> um, we're going to get all these comments. You got to get a farm cat. You got to get a farm cat. Ugh. Gross. Okay. Did you see the cat in Lowe's yesterday? Oh, it's missing a leg. <gasps> ah! I told you I didn't want to look at it. Problem solved. Problem solved. So, do I need a new thing? No. <laughs> but it has. No. Please tell me you didn't just like leave that in my car on the ground. Yeah, I'm leaving it in here just so you have it. You threw it out there, right? Yeah. Now I gotta figure out where the door is that. Make sure there's no rat's nest in here, okay? That looks good. Where's my phone? Do you got it? Uh, no. Is it in your pocket? No. Um.
It's not on, dude. I know. I want to figure out which motor. Oh, you heard it. That's exact. Oh. Oh, I figured it out. That. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But it does work. So is it the motor that's clicking? No, so what's it's so there's a door basically that opens like this and closes like this. And when I push it, it opens and it opens and then it goes dick 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 dick. It's like it's opening and then the, it's opening too far and the gear just keeps turning. But it does work, so there's actually nothing wrong with it. But that's what it was because that's right above the air filter. So how'd the mouse get in? So it got in from outside from probably the engine area and then it went through and it hit the air filter and that's and it had pulled some of that insulation that's why the insulation was on top of that and then uh you're all done honey it must have oh it did it chewed look at that it chewed through the filter so i need to buy a new filter yeah we could use a new filter it chewed through the filter and then went down and into this thing so this goes like this that door opens and closes right here so wow well that was fairly easy to fix i believe okay pax i'm coming to help you i'm gonna go ahead and screw that all back together and marcy will be good to go so my brother colton actually had to get his engine replaced or like a lot of engine work done because he had a squirrel climb in his car basically into the engine area and um, during one fall he like had his car parked in the same place for like a week and it built its nest and filled his whole engine full of acorns and he turned it on not knowing the whole thing was full of acorns so they had to like pay a bunch of money to get their engine fixed and everything so I'm grateful for Crandall who first of all better not have any squirrels doing that uh, luckily we don't have a tree right there. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we don't park over here because... Ah, back to new. Thank you. Have a good time. Good luck. I'll try. Don't get any more mice. So, did you fix that door? No, it's fine though. It's just opening and then it keeps the gears are still turning, but it's, it is working. So, so how did I get the mouse then? Because the outside was open. Like you weren't on air recirculation, so it was open. Oh. Kind of weird that it doesn't automatically close or whatever, but yeah. I mean, pop the hood, I'll look, but we'll keep using it. We'll keep using it till the motor actually dies. I think everything's fine. Okay. Y'all have a good time. Will you take these? Love you. So, I've been at the store. I had to go get some stuff for the tractor I've been working on. And uh, pick up some milk and sausage. Didn't know we were going to be in tornado warning, but here we are. There's a tornado that's been on the ground um, on near Marietta, on the other side of Marietta, uh, as far as where we live and it's headed our direction, directly east. Uh, hopefully it's not too big of one. They're not saying it's a huge, huge one, uh, but it's the biggest one right now in Oklahoma. We're listening to Ryan Hall, and uh, if it stays on track, it's gonna literally go right over us. So, fingers crossed, it sounds like it's maybe lifted a little bit, and it's kind of lifted up, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised Kind of with Lake Texoma and stuff like that, it's supposed to kind of carry on along the banks of Lake Texoma, which we're pretty close to. So I'm rushing home as quick as I can, going to grab all of the kids and Marcy, and we're going to go back over to our neighbor's storm shelter and wait it out there. Kind of crazy that this is all happening. We didn't even have any rain in the forecast for today, and here we are with tornadoes and rain. So 
Apple weather is absolutely the worst. They don't know what they're talking about. Thankfully, we do watch Ryan Hall and uh, kind of knew something was going on, but I didn't expect it to be this big. Um, so hopefully it's not going to be like the last one that was absolutely horrendous. But we're going to get to our safe place just in case. I just got out of the shower um, and I just talked to Colonel. He's on the way home from the store. And we just got put under tornado warning. We thought the storm was going to hit north of us, but it's like right on our road, basically. It's still a little ways out. But um, yeah, it's going to... If it continues, and there's a tornado on the ground, if it continues, it will... Um, it will hit our street. So, and he said that we live in like, there's like our main town, and then there's a tiny town that we live in, like so tiny, like you barely see it on the map. Um, no stop sign, things like that. And he's like, it'll hit this town, and that's us. So, um, we're getting shoes on, we're leaving. interesting because our last actually like almost all the tornadoes we seem to have in our area are always embedded in thunderstorms there isn't a ton of rain and stuff like that in this storm like it's more of a tornado storm so there is rain associated with it but it's one of those that you can kind of see for a long ways rather than like it being nighttime and being dark and it being completely embedded. I mean, the visibility is probably five miles. I don't know how high the ceilings are, maybe a thousand foot. Um, so it's a little bit different than uh, some of the other ones that we've had that have been really, really bad. Big raindrops so. though. Definitely hot and humid. We're going to our neighbor's house. Colonel's just about to pull up. He was at the grocery store. Like I said, this storm was not supposed to hit us, huh? Yeah, yeah kind of crazy. Do you want to bring a toy? You can go to the house. You can go grab them. Mammy's really nervous, you guys. I feel so bad, huh? It's okay, honey. We're going to keep you safe. Okay. We don't need to be scared. It's I, okay. I'm scared of thunder and lightning. I'm scared of thunder and lightning. So Mavi was in bed and I had to pull him out of bed. I'm waiting to grab these twins till Colonel's pulling up. Um, we have our shoes, right? We got the iPad. Uh, Hopefully everything downloaded. So by the time I got home, it's gone. Uh, we're no longer in a tornado warning or watch. So it just kind of fizzled out. There wasn't much uh, in the way. In the there wasn't much in the way of energy, I guess, for these storms. Uh, like I said, they weren't really in the forecast. So thankfully, it seems like everything's kind of gone. There is still a band of storms up north of us, about 30 miles north, 20 miles north, and then there's some like 60 miles south of us. So I think we're out of it, which is good. The animals are like, yay, thank goodness, a little bit of a break. Oh, man. So we didn't end up going to the storm shelter because, like I said, by the time I got home, everything had moved north of us. And, uh, yeah, kind of crazy living out here in the plains. Stuff like this just ha seems to happen all of the time. I mean, this is like our sixth or seventh one this year. It's been a very, very active storm season, which... I love it for the rain because we can use all the rain we can get the last couple of years. Heck, I think last year, the last day we got rain was like May 15th or May 20th. And we didn't get rain again for like three and a half months and it was 100 degrees. So we're already doing better for rain than we did last year. Daddy's videoing. Silly. What are you doing in the tub in your clothes? Tell everybody, tell the video what we had to do. We had to go to the fence up, but we go down here. <laughs> yeah, we were going to go to our neighbor's house, but then the storm prediction center gave like an update, and the storm had moved, and it was further north, and so 
and we just, as a precaution, we got in our tub, huh? Yeah, and I held Maverick and... Are you feeling better? You're not so scared, huh? You're so scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. He was like shaking and shivering. Just had the adrenaline kick in, huh? That happened to mommy last time there was a tornado. Did you know that? That's where he got it the first time. He was asleep. No, the whole thing, he was shaking and... Yeah, but it's, guess what? There's nothing to be scared about. What? I stand out the thunder and the lightning. The thunder and the lightning? That's why you gotta sing your favorite thunder song when you get scared of thunder and lightning. What's your favorite thunder song? Thunder with the thunder. Lightning in the <gasps> lightning. Maverick loves lightning, huh? Hey, no. Lightning McQueen. Kachow. <laughs> You're okay, honey. Let's go lay in your bed though. Let's take off your boots. He's in the he's in the tub with his room boots on. Okay, come on. Stand up. Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Anything you want to say, Mammy? We're going to Papa's house. We're going to maybe fly RC airplanes. We're going to maybe fly RC airplanes. We'll let you guys know if we fly RC airplanes. Marcy's, Marcy, Maverick's been begging me too. Yesterday we actually went down to my dad's house as well. We started working on another project. We actually pretty much got it started and finished. So I'm excited to show you all that. Make sure you're subscribed. But Maverick wanted to fly airplanes yesterday and we didn't get the chance to. So maybe we will today. We're kind of on a time crunch today as well. Y'all will see why we're going down there in a future video here, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, but the storms have been hitting everywhere around us. There was another tornado a couple of days ago, actually two days ago, that killed seven people here in Northern Texas. Um, so the tornadoes are running rampant this year. But thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see y'all on the next video. For some reason, all of our animals are out. There's Domino, the ducks are over there. You can see the goats out there. I guess it's because the pool landed on the fence last night in our huge storms and just knocked it over. And I didn't bother to go set it back up. I'm actually just, we decided to just let them out in free range today. Oh, look at this. This is cute. What? Look at those baby ducks. So cute running all over the place.